Hello traders, it's Yanis here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome to another weekly Forex forecast. This is going to be from 2nd till uh, 6th of September. Now we will check our previous um, approach. We have our pairs, we have added some more and we will start with Aussie Yen and we already know that Aussie Yen is going short. We saw our trend line we saw our retracement and even on daily we had a retracement not that good all the way to the 36 EMA and for those who were waiting for a lower setting entry you had an M4, 1, 2, 3, we were expecting that if you took it you are in price is in a range uh, the thing is we have plenty of room this is like more than 1000 plus pips to go and why is that because on the monthly chart price is really getting in uh, a big drop a big zone that we have now even passed through our previous lows and with a four hour retracement it was a good opportunity price is in a range of course uh, we would like to go short, but we will have to wait a little bit uh, longer. Give me a second. Not this one, this one. Uh, and of course, that would be to go short. You can even use a breakout strategy like an M4, uh, like a, a H4 with a one hour or five, 15 minutes setup to go short again. GBP pairs are looking funny. Uh, UK has closed uh, its parliament, but what we have here is on my four hour chart, multiple tops, trend line breaking, support resistance area breaking 36 EMA breaking and this is a GPP pair so if price wants to continue short since I don't have uh, history we can go for the lowest points here so you can combine that uh, to go for 250 pips with um, an M15 M5 it's up to you Again, you can uh, use this um, as a breakout. Now, on Euro GBP, we know now that price has reached major resistance area and we have also multiple highs and lows on this support. So, if you are to go short as a bounce opportunity, that means your daily trend line has to break. And it has. So everything comes down to this area. Will price stay below this area? The downside is that I have multiple bottoms, but my trend line is respected. So definitely since I have a daily trend line break, the only thing missing is a one hour, one to three below this area to go short on Aussie CHF again our area here our support area has broken this is a daily chart and if you go to the weekly that could be a retracement either on the daily or even higher even if price breaks this area and goes long your target will have to be 300 plus pips and don't forget this trend line so ideally on Aussie CHF it would be better to focus short for now CHF yen on my daily chart I can see that my support area has broken actually this is a wedge so this would be like a breakout weekly chart plenty of room to go short 
um, and the only thing missing of course would be a lower settings setup you already had the retracement that is a good thing you can always wait for another one to go short again you have plenty of room to go on chf yen and that would be of course short let me write that down chf uh, yen short GBP USD it looks like the breakout is not happening so weekly chart price is retesting my support area do I have any more lows on the monthly chart zoom out I don't have a history so that means the more the most probable scenario would be to try to find an opportunity to bounce trade that long and of course this is a four hour chart what you need to do is focus on this area pending orders or conservative approach uh, for a bounce to go long on New Zealand dollar, US dollar, we know that we have trend continuation. Previous lows have broken, price is short, and on my monthly chart, I can go for this area. Price is already here with some spikes. And on my weekly chart, definitely, I would have to wait a daily retracement before going short. Just because we have volatility, it doesn't mean that we will just jump in on the trade. Aussie CAD, uh, trend continuation. I already have a nice M um, and a nice four hour uh, retracement. And on my weekly chart, what I see is price respects my 12 EMA. I have some more room to go short. It's not going to be an early entry. I have a well-respected trend line and I have a daily one to three followed by some four hours one to three. Uh, four hour one to threes. And that's why I said it's going to be a late entry. We have a lower low, but that doesn't mean anything. At any time now, price can retrace back to the 36 EMA. For now, focus on short Aussie cut. On USD Yen, we have something nice forming, like a daily one, two, three with a crossover after a bounce, but I don't have a trend line break. And the downside is this multiple tops blocking my way, and on the weekly chart, the good thing is that I have a very powerful support area. That means we can combine that from a four hour with a 15 minutes entry or even a five as long as we get our, our confirmation. And that would be uh, a nice retracement. And when my two to three line breaks, I can go for 40 pips. Uh, Euro New Zealand dollar, if I check my weekly chart, I can see that my previous resistance area has broken and that means this is the next potential target when I get my retracement. Definitely I would love a retracement all the way down to my combined support from the 36 EMA and my support area and it's already happening the retracement has started if you want to go short that means 130 pips with a four hour trend line break and the low sorry and the lower settings entry euro usd has plenty of room to go short you can see we have a big range here daily chart is short after some retracements 
again it would be great if we can get a daily retracement or if we focus on the four hour a four hour one but again you can see that on my daily chart price is has created a lower low so it would be better to focus on a daily and a four hour combination trade to go short because we have also a nice trend line respected gbp cad we know that uh gp don't gbp uk has closed its parliament uh, to protect its downfall we have a major support area reacting here and we saw on lower settings price going up and as too many spikes pr sorry price decided to continue short that's okay that means price is going to retest my support area i'm not going short because it's way too late but what I would like is to find an opportunity here to bounce straight that long. Either you use the well-known uh, strategy, uh, the bounce with a pending order, or wait for the conservative setup. Um, yep. Okay, New Zealand dollar CAD. We have a very powerful for our trend line respected we have the reaction we don't have previous uh, lows price has already reacted and this is a way good of an opportunity to wait for a trend line break and the lower settings entry to go long and that means with a lower setting entry, you will be targeting 270 pips. I think it's worth your uh, time and effort. GBP New Zealand dollar has started to retrace. Uh, a daily retracement would be perfect because we have the bounce, the trend line break, the crossover of the MAs, and my one, two, three. Two to three line breaks, lower setting entry more than 600 pips for this trade and the only thing missing like i said is a daily retracement on the other hand you can see that my four hour trend line is not respected anymore my 36 cma has broken and if you want to go short against the main trend you will be going for 200 pips definitely with a one hour or a one hour 15 minutes combination main direction like i said it's long now uh euro chf if we go a little bit higher we will see that we have a very powerful downtrend it's still there it's still going and on my daily I would love a daily retracement all the way up to the 36 EMA price is in a slow movement. Slowly, you can see here, and uh, my tops, kind of a wedge scenario. And if price wants to continue long, that means you won't have enough room. But also, if I look a little bit back on the history, price tends to break the 12 BMA spikes and then go short. So definitely Euro CHF uh, for me is focusing short. And when your trend line break, you can go for more than one, sorry, not 120, more than 200 pips on Euro CHF. USD CAD it's in the range nothing has broken yet i have uh, the last candle looks promising but that doesn't mean anything main direction of course it's long since the 36 ema has broken but i also want all these tops to break uh, it could be better to focus long 
and see what happens. You already have the room. This is like 200 pips to go. And New Zealand dollar yen, last one for this week. Plenty of room, trend continuation, monthly looks powerful. Price is entering another zone of more than 600 pips and definitely what I would look for is a lower settings retracement. That means a four hour retracement. So far looking good. That means we will need to wait a little bit more to get that nice setup. Thank you very much for watching one of our weekly Forex forecasts. See you again uh, tomorrow on our live room. Bye-bye, everybody.